Bonjour. Hello. And today is perfume bottle. In the left corner, Alrehan by Atar collection. On um, the right, right corner, Baldafric by Barredo. Yep. So they have same notes? Yeah. Because they didn't try them. They don't have same notes. Notes are different, but they smell quite. It, people in Fragrantica always tell that they are dupe of like one mm. of each other. We don't want to say which one is dupe, but no, it's not a dupe. Uh, they, everyone is a different perfume. And we will try all of them, and we will try to go through all stages of the perfume and show you what's the difference, what's not. Let's try with the first one, Baldafri. This one is a creation of Ben Gorham. I would say this perfume is more like a apple foam. Everyone like it. Simple, classic, beautiful, easy to use. Yeah, apple, it's like, like for apple everyone. Foam. Yeah, like apple foam. It's like anyone there can like There is no it. person on earth who will say, no, apple foam is a bad one. Same with this. The so powdery, fruity. Uh, uh, for me, it's a little bit citrus, you know? Citrusy. Yep. Mm. I don't know if it's mango from um, from the perfume that I then previously. Like, they, <laughs> I feel something close to mango. Maybe to it's mango? Mango, yep. I think it's from other video. Lemon. The jet. Black, black currant. Bergamot. bergamot African, African orange, orange flower. Violet. Cyclamen. Jasmine. jasmine vetiver mask. Amber. Zero mango because you apply your mango. It's not on this hand, this one. So it's citrus with black currant right now. Citrus, so for me it's like uh, citrus here with something else, but I it's can't It's slightly catch. flowery. Maybe, yeah, flowery. It's too fresh, too light. And it's like uh, It's like, you know, the, the needle you can't see, you know, like it's too, too thin, too light. Okay. Put it on the side. Try... Let's compare. Yeah, compare the, the second one. Uh, right hand. More. Intense, maybe. More intense, more citrusy. Beginning is much more citrusy. Right. Have same powdery feeling, but much oh. more. Mango. <laughs> yeah. But lemon zest. Beginning is lemon zest. Like here's a lemon, don't have this dusty feeling. And have a, here's a lemon zest, more sharp a little bit. This is more intense. If you compare, it's like more. Uh, it's not light, like uh, Baldafric. It it ha it has same light feeling, but with more kind of chocolate background. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's from Praline. Yeah, for me it's like Praline, Lukum. I always compare this uh, fragrance with uh, gummy bears covered mm -hmm. in uh, mm -hmm. in the, this kind of sugar. Yeah, interesting. But uh, do you think like they quite same? Not so much. Let's try in the old way. Too far. <laughs> Same. Left. And right. So beginning. More yeah. lemon, slightly powdery, slightly floral. Oh, here's a like lemon zest. Here? Here. Oh. This is the one, this is one. Lemon, yeah. More intense, more sweet, and even like mandarin something. Okay, while, <laughs> while we wait in a little bit of time for fragrance start working, we can speak about packaging. So if we take it, the fragrance uh, by Reda is always simple, Swedish style, everything is classic, white and black. But at the same time, complex because it's. Uh, I like the, the boxes, the print, how they did. See, you can even. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's always interesting. Yeah, it's it's beautiful, but it, it's more IKEA style. Nah, no, no. Nah. <laughs> because even here you can see they put uh, like stickers. Sticker. And it's not simple sticker. Beautiful. No, I like it. It's simple, but they work on the packaging. Okay, what what you will say about this one? More simple than this one. Uh, simple, in, I mean, <laughs> at, uh, about how you see. Visual. Visual, okay. yes. Simple, I mean, like, uh, they did 
didn't do a lot of things like Bayredo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one will be velvet, like with Arabic mm. ornament, yeah. uh, inside nice, velvet yeah. as well, like pretty beautiful as well. What about price tag? Price tag. This is, I know, it's 150 Canadian. Yep. And this one? It's 350. 350. So it's twice more for the same amount. So interesting. Why? It's just because of brand or it's something uh, they I, did special or? What I can say about niche fragrances, the price depends of the brand. Not because of the brand itself, because our producer, the, these brands is like our producers. They how they feel the price tag they they say this thing. yeah uh, like you know when you buy in the painting sometimes paintings can cost extremely extremely much but it's not because of the quality of the ingredients so okay um, yeah so yeah it depends on brand like it depends on the brand it depends on the philosophy of the brand it depends how brand um, spend the money on on the future aspect for example we have Amazing brand with amazing quality like Theodora Scalatini's and they the price tag is so good $75 for mm. full bottle so and they just feel like they want to make Fragrances more accessible like essential perfume as well some brands like Beredo like Tom Ford like Sirjov. like Sirjov, They they I cannot say that they they use more Interesting ingredients. No, they use absolutely kind of same ingredients, but they just more established, they feel yeah, they themselves more mature, different. and they, they they feel like their customers can allow to spend like 300, 400 for... And they put for maybe for, for example, Xerjov, they put a lot of money for packaging. Yeah, the packaging, yeah. The packaging so, is quite expensive for Viredo, much more expensive than this one. Yeah. And um, even even this one, I, I think that quality of glass is pretty expensive uh, what they have in Bayredo. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to what we smell. <gasps> what we smell? Al Raihan more more citrusy for me. What is Al Raihan right now? I uh, right. We were supposed to do it differently. It's still more intense, Al Raihan. But bit more intense for me. Like not over intense. It's almost the same. That's why I, like, I was confused because it's almost more citrusy? Uh, more citrusy, yeah. Powdery, both of them powdery. But by this then, they become bit... a little bit quiet, you know, like you can smell the citrusy notes like in the beginning. It's still citrusy, but you can have this powdery maybe more, I don't know. But uh, Al Rayhan for me, it's more citrusy. I feel a little bit more like praline, like chocolate mm. feeling here in uh, Al Rayhan. So now they become much, much, much closer, closer, much more closer. And let's check the dry down of the paper because on the paper it's much faster oh i don't feel after hands you, you see this helps this helps try again i, I tried but try your hair no for me there is the same you know on the waters this one is a powdery slightly sweet slightly covered in dust like sweet dust and this one a little bit more fruitier like on the blur, I can feel a mango, a bit of mango, <laughs> somewhere far see. away. But mm. they again, they are so close so to each close other. To this one a little bit them. more fruitier, and this one is just uh, more calmer. Ah, too difficult. So I don't know. And I, I can say, even by hand, I can say that Arayhan is more. Oily. More oily, yeah. You can, yeah, can you see, can see yeah. you can see it's much more oily compared to this one. So this means it stays a little yes, bit longer. Yes, and I got the feeling even in the beginning like it will disappear in two hours. I wouldn't say two, but three, four, it can stay. This one is a but it, in, modest six. In two, you you will not feel. Maybe yeah, for, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. People, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you yeah. will. This one is much more intense, much more oily. Let's talk about ginger. Uh, do you feel that both of them are unisex? Yeah. Absolutely. Sexy, yeah. This one, absolutely universal fragrance. And as, as I can see in the store, 95% of the people who smell Balda Freak, they say, wow, really good. <laughs> like this, almost, it's a crowd pleaser. So if you don't know what to find for a present, Balda Freak. It will be universal. It's universal present. Pricey but universal. Anyone will like it. For yeah, sure. yeah. Even the packaging is like really, really, really yeah. beautiful. For if you are looking for alternative 
which smells in the same way but little, stays a little bit longer and more Cheaper. more citrusy, <laughs> more fruity and a little bit more chocolatey, more deep. So that one option will be and for you cheaper. better. <laughs> and cheaper, yeah. Don't always like cheap, cheap, cheap. It's not always cheap. It's like more about the different aspect of fragrance. If, you, if your nose are really sensitive, maybe that one will be a little bit intense because of the oily structure, this chocolatey yeah. dry down feeling. So maybe you will better use this one, Balda Freak. How about uh, the season? Oh. Occasion. Occasion, like everyday fragrance. Yeah, it's a signature scent fragrance. It's everyday fragrance. It's fragrance to go in out in the heat. It's fragrance to go in the office. I wouldn't say this one may be not a good option for the office because a little bit stronger. Yeah. It depends. It depends. It depends your office and your managers in the office. If yeah. you are a manager in the office, yes, you can. But if you have a strict manager, think about this because it can be a little bit over citrusy, over sweet for other people taste. And but I this one is absolutely universal. I think this one can be good for uh, healthcare uh, prof professionals because we did not long time video about it. I can feel like it. Will, it can be good as well. Um, I wouldn't say so. Um, I don't feel the caring person behind this fragrance. I feel more, uh, this fragrance is more in, in the sales. You know, a um, person who worked like in a shoe store, in your favorite clothes store, department store, that person should smell like this because you want to come to this person, you want to speak with, with this person, you want to spend the time with this person and you want to listen to this person. So I think that is a perfect fragrance for a salesperson. And that one is something a little bit more for, for yourself, like to, to feed yourself with emotions, yeah. to be indulged in a, in a sweetness, uh, like to... This one is more juicier, so that's have more joyful feelings compared to this one. This one is more... Calmer. Calmer and this one. it, it helps attract people to you, like, stop, like people willing to talk more with you, yeah. Because of this, because it's quiet, it's rounded, it's beautiful, it's a crowd pleaser. And this one is a little bit more joyful, a little bit too more energetic compared to this one. No? Yeah, I this is more energetic for sure. Yeah. More yeah. citrusy, more intense and uh, it, it can be You like know another one trick? When you feel like almost gone on the bladder, you need exhale on the bladder. Because air you exhaling is hotter, it will hit a little bit the blood and it will start diffuse again. Almost disappear. No, I can feel it. I can maybe uh, because it took quite for me. <laughs> what else? What can we what speak else can about? We, yeah, we can speak about colors. Yeah, the, colors. for this one, I cannot say the color is white for me. But the freak is more like a color of. Um, slightly green green like mm. like salad mm. for me it this one will be white and you know this soft white like something like carpet with like blush blushing blush blushy blush i don't know okay like blushing like blushy. i don't know if it's like correct blushy. or not like something plushy plushy white okay and this one is like, I think that one color is perfect. Yeah. Velvet green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely exact perfect. Much. No, so this one else? for me is like more like lighter green. So yeah, but this is my opinion, okay. Now you now. need to close your eyes and yep. I will give you my <laughs> hands and you need to guess which one is which okay. one. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. So the first one will be this one. Mm-hmm. Um, give me for comparing. This one is Baldafric and the P previous one was a tap. No, opposite. <laughs> yes, it was this one. Uh, this one was Baldafric. This one, Atar Collection. Oh my goodness! After they become pretty same. Yeah, they, they, in a while, in a while, like we filming this one about one hour, and um, it become absolutely same. Yeah, too much same. Yeah, it's hard to guess. Interesting. So tell us your thoughts about this one. I hope yeah. that was interesting for you. And helpful. Yep. Subscribe, like, comment, stay fragrant. Adios. See you guys.